I'll give you the high level synopsis of where we are in databases. So we still continue to have relational database as a key toward transactional processing and data warehousing and master data management. Although OLAP cubes are certainly used for BI, the, new th the, the best practice at this point is columnar databases. Whether it's uh, wide column databases, columnar databases, or column stores within Oracle or SQL Server, one of those combinations, that's generally the best practice for BI. We have uh, certainly Hadoop used heavily, um, and as well as uh, in a NoSQL space, key value, column graph, and column databases, column, wide column databases. All of those have specific use cases. Um, all of these can be used with an analytical data architecture uh, based on use cases. On the bottom tier, we have things like in-memory analytics and based in, in database analytics, MPP databases, in-memory, cloud, DB appliances. All those are really sort of rolling into um, the idea of a multi-model, multi-schema, or a polygon database. So in the long run, you'll get a database management system that will have relational, columnar, and other constructs built within a Hadoop, and it will manage where the data goes, or you'll maybe coax it a little bit, but that you'll have your data spread out across different data structures based on use cases. Relational doesn't solve everything, but neither does Hadoop. So you need the combination of what works best for you. So the long term, um, certainly the top vendors are AWS, Azure, Google, mainly on machine learning, um, and column databases. And then although Oracle is a distant fourth, um, as long as Larry breathes, I wouldn't count them out as far as being a key player in the marketplace. So. Um, IBM and others, they're not exhibiting here, are they? Uh, they're not so much. Um, I have lots of customers with Oracle. They have lots of great stuff. My nephew works for, for IBM, but those are the top, top ones and they'll evolve. Um, and again, mainly the advantage that Microsoft has now with Azure is that it has an, a hybrid architecture. So you can have stuff on premise and cloud. Not everybody's gonna be in the cloud right away or maybe ever. That's really a cost issue and other issues related to it. But uh, all of these providing different types of database structures so that you could put your database in the right space makes the most sense. And again, data warehousing, MDM, relational, hybrid dimensional models, uh, columnar would be a logical dimensional model. And it could be either uh, a wide column, a column to database like Vertica, or column stores, the column indexes that are put into SQL Server, Oracle, and other databases themselves. All of them do the same equivalent thing, some more efficient than others, but, and data virtualization has a combination of a bunch of these things embedded in the tools too.